page 53 blow the man down they're introducing dotted rhythms dotted rhythms seem to throw a lot of people it's unfortunate what do they do if you already know and understand dotted rhythms then take a nap for a few minutes because I'm going to try and explain it you have a note and it has a little dot behind it I haven't lost you yet right you're still there okay the note has a value depending on the time signature the dot gets half the value of the note now it doesn't mean the note has to give half its value to the dot that's not what we're doing the dot just inherits half the value of the note so if we have a quarter note in this case it's three four time quarter note gets one count therefore the value of the quarter note is one beat the dot is going to get a half a beat. You put the dot and the note together and you get one and a half beats. It's like three eighth notes because a quarter note is the same as two eighth notes, right? And the dot gets half of that, which is an eighth note. So that's three eighth notes. So a dotted quarter note is the same as three eighth notes. It's one way of looking at it because I could have a half note. I could have a dotted half note. I a half note would get two counts, the dot would get one then, it's half of the two, right? So it's three counts total. Well, a half note is equal to two quarter notes, so a dotted half note is equal to three quarter notes, and that's regardless of the time signature. That just works everywhere, right? So you're just adding one more to the value of whatever it is. Now, I use the AND method to count eighth notes. So if I go a one, two, three, those are quarter notes. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. I go eighth notes. I do an and in between. One and two and. One and two and three and one. And. Tells me the speed of the eighth notes. Well, a dotted quarter note is hold it down for three eighth notes. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two. And you get it? One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's really all it is. They give a couple very common melodies for this part of the world. Depending on what part of the world you're from, you may not know these melodies. But the Silent Night is a good one because it's got one and two and three, one and two and three, one and two and three and one. Okay. Uh, and my country tis of thee is another one. Look at the second measure. One and two and three. Start at the beginning. One and two. One and two and three. So those are, give you an idea of the dotted rhythm. It's really not hard. All right. Well, Blow the Man Down has dotted rhythms in it. You look at the first full measure, you get it right off the bat. One and two and one. Right? Second line is the left hand's got it. One and two. Et, et cetera. And that's really all this is about. In Blow the Man Down, assuming you got dotted rhythms down okay, let's just take a look at the piece just a little bit in this arrangement. You're starting out with a melody in the right hand for the first line. In the second line, for most of it, it's in the left hand. The melody takes over the last note of the second line. In the right hand, for the third line, it's in the right hand. The fourth line, the melody's back in the left hand. Why do I point that out? Because it's the old bring out the melody. That's what we want to hear. The accompaniment or the chords, you've had this. We had it in 4-4 time. Uh, different, different time signature, doesn't matter. It's in, very common in a 3-4 time or a waltz time to get this. In the second line, since the left hand has the melody, the right hand is accompanying and notice that it's a rest on the first beat.
if the rest is throwing you, then just go ahead and play a note there temporarily until you get it. So you do it each time, then once you get it, go back and put in the rest. You can do little adjustments to help you learn it, just know that you've got to take the adjustments out eventually. Let's try this out. So three or four time with a pickup. I'm only going to give you two counts because I'm mean and you can handle two counts, right? Now, they're not giving you fingerings for everything. At the beginning, they're telling you to use the fourth finger on the G. Well, you've got, look, a couple measures later, you've got second finger on the E and then one thumb on the Okay? Put them together. That's really your hand position. For the right hand, for this, for this first line. <laughs> for the second line, they don't give you any hint at all. You're here for the first line. And this doesn't work too well on the second line to put the thumb on the G because you got an A on the next measure. Now you could just cross over and play it with the, the first finger. But that just complicates things. We don't need to do that, all right? So I recommend you, on the second line, you play that G with the second finger. So you're ready for the next measure. So you simply change your hand position one key. You want from here to here. And you can do that without looking, I hope. Then on the third line, the left hand's got to go back down to here because you need this chord. This chord comes from here. So you need that chord. And the last line, you're still here. So, this one. so you're only changing the left hand position for the second line. The right hand looks like it's fine pretty much throughout. The last line, well, it happens on the second line too, on the third measure. You have a B. They even point out the name of the note. Isn't that nice, Owen? You have a B and a D. So you got to move the thumb down one key. You're not really changing hand positions. You're staying here, just moving the thumb down. Okay. Uh, in the last line, you got that B again with the G. Let's try it out and see. Slowly, so we hear the notes. When we hear the notes, so bring out the melody. I'm going to play it all about the same because I want you to hear it. All right. Play it with me one hand at a time if you have to, for a whip. So you hear the notes. Are you playing the same notes I'm playing? That's what we're after here, at the same time, yeah. Two counts. Ready, go. Ready, go. 